So I grabbed First Magazine. This is May 17th, 2021. Can you believe that? Anyway, I'm cooling down from my workout. That was a good workout. Okay. There is a couple of great pages here. Right off the bat. Um, they do a feel-good file where they show how to do a patriotic cake, a pretty mug posy, a so cute settings, a juice lover's best friend, uh, Carrie Underwood's album for her savior, and I found two parts in here that just stuck out at me right at the front. Uh, pictures of all the American flags. It says, America without her soldiers would be like God without his angels, Claudia Pemberton. Then there is, it looks like red, white, and blue beads, maybe in a, in a bucket or something. And it says, happiness lies not in finding what is missing, but in finding what is present. Tara Brock. Which is, ooh, kind of interesting. Smart U Solutions. Quick tips that keep you looking and feeling great. Speed through a closet clean out. While transferring your pretty spring clothes from one closet to another, you discover you can only corral so many hangers before they dig into your hands. Ouch. To speed the closet changeover without pain, simply hook the handles onto the base of another hanger. This will keep the hangers from pinching your skin and help you make fewer trips back between closets so you can get back to enjoying the rest of your day. <sighs> Quick pull. How do you make deodorant last? As the weather heats up, try one of these first reader tricks to increase the longevity of your deodorant. 57% love this idea. Swipe it onto clean skin before bed, says June Fable. Sweet, the sweat ducts are less active at night, so the product sinks in and lasts all throughout the next day. 43% love this idea. Sprinkle baby powder onto the skin after applying, says Erin Chung. It sops up moisture, and so does the deodorant adheres. Here's a reader tip. Toss away saves glasses. My eyeglasses case went missing when I needed to keep my reading glasses scratch-free inside my bag. My sister's solution? Tape one end of a toilet paper cardboard tube shut, and then slip the glasses inside. The tube is just the right size to hold and protect lenses so they stay clear and scratch-free. Annabelle Herring for Baltimore. The two-minute sinus pain relief. Now, if this actually works, I'll be glad. Spring allergies making you heavy-headed. Researchers say massaging along the hairline using the small circular motions can relieve sinus pain 62% in two minutes. Turns out the stimulating pressure points along the hairline triggers the release of pain-killing endorphins. Plus, helps open and drain congested sinuses for fast relief. Money Saver. Reveal Radiant Skin for Less. Uh, it says, skin pricey hydrating mask and make your own with a popular superfood chia seeds. Soak one tablespoon in one half cup water for 15 minutes. Apply a handful of strained seeds to clean, dry face and let it sit for 10 minutes. Then rinse. The seeds will absorb 12 times their weight in water and deposit moisture directly onto the skin for a radiant glow, which is fast. Money saved, $9 for a mask. They show how here. Travel toilet kit is a perfect for organizing a pool day essentials. It has plastic pockets to keep your items dry. It basically looks like an old coupon holder to me that they have turned into putting a magazine in one place, a cell phone in one, maybe some sunscreen next to the cell phone, which I don't know if, unless that was separated, I don't think I would do that. And then on top there, it shows money, the charging cord, and maybe some other little doodads, I can't tell. Okay, moving on. Good gravy. Okay, quick bits for your nutrition. The nutrition news that matters to you. This powerful drink boosts memory by 53%. Staying sharp well into old age may be as simple as a daily cup of matcha. 
Now, this popular Japanese green tea, investigators reporting into nutrients studied over women 60 who sipped either a drink made with one half teaspoon of matcha tea powder or a placebo twice daily for 12 weeks. The matcha tea drinkers improved their scores on memory and recall tests by 53%. Past science has shown that matcha's antioxidants protects brain cells to ward off memory loss. To make this sip, add one half teaspoon of matcha to eight ounces of hot or iced water or milk. Fiber-rich foods foster a sunny outlook. That hearty oatmeal you enjoyed for your breakfast can help you f keep you happy, report researchers in the Journal of Menopause. Their study of more than 5,800 women found that those who were premenopausal who ate approximately 28 grams of fiber daily were less likely to have symptoms of depression than those who ate less of the nutrient. The investigators explained that fiber feeds the healthy gut, microbes responsible for the production of 95% of the body's feel-good chemistry, serotonin. To get the study proven amount of fiber, enjoy one cup of oats and one cup of beans daily. The Mediterranean diet helps wards off heart attacks. So say the Spanish researchers reporting in the PLOS medicine. Their studies found that folks who had already experienced one heart attack and then started a Mediterranean diet including a healthy fat, whole grains and produce were less likely to have a second event compared to those on a low fat, high carb diet. The study authors say that's because healthy monosaturated fats and nutrients in the, mon med med blah, 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 in the Mediterranean diet loosens up stiff arteries and widens narrow blood vessels, helping to prevent future ca cardiac trouble. This snack tamps cravings by 70%. Reach for humus the next time you're hungry. Investigators reporting the National Journal of Nutrition say it will keep you feeling full longer three hours after snacking on a third cup of humus. Participants were 70% less hungry than those who didn't eat, 65% less hungry than those who had a granola bar, plus they were still probably notably hungry less than the other groups of six hours later. Researchers also noted that those who ate humus ate up 200 fewer calories later in the day. The study authors say chickpeas used to make the Middle Eastern dip are rich in slow digesting carbs, which increase satiety by boosting the production of hunger dampering hormones. Surprise! Just adding spice eases your muscle soreness. When muscles are sore after a day of gardening, instead of reaching for the painkillers, simply spice meals with turmeric. Researchers at Pennsylvania Marywood University found that subjects who had 500 milligrams of cumurcan, the active ingredient in turmeric, daily for 10 days were less sore than after exercise, and they credit the Cumarin for tampering down the pain causing inflammation. The study proven dose was two teaspoons of turmeric daily. 47% women who prefer their hamburgers prepared well done. The source, YouGov. And just so we all know, every time I eat a hamburger, I make sure, yes, that it's well done. Okay. Which is not very often. Once a, I try to make it once every two weeks, I would say. Quick bits. These are health news that matters to you and your health. The brain benefits from more patio time. Sitting around isn't just a pleasure. It can make you smarter, report researchers in the journal Psychology and Aging. They followed activity levels of subjects from 60 to 80 for a week. Then they asked them to complete 16 brain tasks. The researchers found those who spent more time sitting performed better on mental tasks than those who moved around more. The scientists say that the sitters, quote unquote, we're more likely to read or do puzzles, activities that grow the area of the brain, process the stores, the information. Tiny tweaks slash the risk of heartburn. Women who reach for antacids or for heartburn relief now have an alternative workaround in the study of JAMA, Internet Internal Medicine of 43,000 women aged 42 to 62. Those who skipped a third cup of coffee or soda engaged in a BRICS activity for 30 minutes daily reduced the symptoms of gastro Phological reflux disease by 37%. Study co-author Andrew Chan, MD, says the exercise helps move faster through the digestive tract to clear the symptoms triggering stomach acid. Also key is limiting caffeine, which weakens the valve that keeps the stomach acid from flowing into the esophagus. Key to effortless slimming. Now good news for folks who want to try intermittent fasting, eating within a specified time range during the day. You can extend your, quote, eating window, end quote, and still lose weight. 
researchers at the University of Illinois, go Illinois, at Chicago split universities or split volunteers into two groups. One ate between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m., the other ate between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. During those times, volunteers ate whatever they wanted. At the end of 10 weeks, both groups consumed 550, few, 550 fewer calories each day and lost about 3% of their total body weight. Simple steps to improve COVID vaccine efficiency. That's the word from Ohio State University researchers. They reviewed 49 studies and found that people who lowered their stress by getting a good night's sleep and stimulated arm muscles with exercises before getting vaccinated had a stronger antibody response, meaning the virus protection was more robust and longer lasting, plus fewer side effects. While studies focused on the flu and other vaccines, scientists say the response to COVID vaccine will likely be similar. 49% women who would use extra time in their day to sleep. The source, Garnet Fruité. 30 minutes to migraine relief. Now, setting aside a little bit of quiet time a few days a week can go a long way to reducing migraines and boosting quality of life. Researchers in the JAMA Internal Medicine found that half an hour of guided audio meditation and yoga instruction twice weekly significantly reduced the frequency of volunteers' migraines. Plus, they had fewer symptoms of depression and improved quality of life compared to a group who received the migraine education alone with benefits lasting up to 36 weeks. The study author says meditation counteracts, counteracts the stress, the most common migraine trigger, by increasing calming the brain chemicals and lowering stress hormones. Whew. I'm still wound up like an eight-day clock. Okay, The Secret to Your Happiest Summer by Insight, the Stress SOS. You're smart and conscientious. And But thinking too much can leave you stuck in a what-if spiral. Here, how to stop overthinking to feel more joy every day. Your parents are about to mark their golden anniversary and you come up with a plan to celebrate safely as a family. But when you text your sister about it, she doesn't respond for days. Why won't she get back to me? She must hate my ideas. Your mind reels. Truth is, our brain is built for this kind of rumination. We have five times more fear-based hardwiring than reward wiring and pay 80% 80 more attention to the bad messages than the good ones, reveals Heidi Hanna, the Ph.D. author of Recharge. No wonder the brain has been called the, quote, Velcro for negative and Teflon for good, end quote. This tendency to zero in on potential hazards may have helped our earliest ancestors survive, but these days it can prevent us from living our happiest life. Constantly being on high alert, quote-unquote, for the, even the minor threats doesn't just increase our stress levels. It reinforces negative fear-based neutral neural pathways, says Hannah. And over time, that causes the lens through which we see the world and ourselves to become hypersensitive to stress and self-doubt. Indeed, new research uh, that also shows that rehashing negative fearful thoughts takes up precious real estate in our brain that could otherwise be devoted to productive worry, like brainstorming, problem solving. Thankfully, it's easy to stop overthinking in its tracks and free up space for fresh uplifting ideas and help you find joy, peace, and self-compassion. Now, if you're fearing the future, take 16 seconds. A new supervisor has been hired at work, and you constantly start worrying about all the ways your job might change. This constant state of high alert curbs your brain's ability to unleash feel-good serotonin, and that promotes relaxation, says Hannah. Luckily, it only takes about 16 seconds to follow a more positive train of thought. When you're hyper-focused on a problem, just take a few deep breaths using the box technique. Simply close your eyes, breathe in slowly for the count of four, Hold for four, exhale for four, and hold for four. This exercise is called box breathing because you can imagine drawing four sides of a square with each step. When you're counting and focusing on your breath you, and you can't think about what's triggering your anxiety, your mind clears, says Aaron Zamert Rudy, the author of Little Book of the Little Life Skills. It interrupts negative overthinking and resets your brain, allowing you to problem solve more easily. In fact, experts say that if you do this four times in a row, congratulations, you're meditating. Focused on flaws? Make this list. You're looking forward to that family reunion at the beach, but you, you're beating yourself over up gaining a few pounds. I look terrible in that swimsuit. People will stare. Self-critical thoughts are hard, to, are hard to turn. 
off because we've been repeating them for years, says body image coach Laura Finnamore, author of Skinny Fat Perfect. Instead of criticizing your body's form, celebrate the function. You're living and breathing every day, so ask yourself, what is working? Says Finnamore, focus on the fact that your waist can bend and to hug your grandchildren, your eyes can drink in the tulips outside, or your hands can flex to mix your famous banana bread batter. The key is to find new things to add to your list every day. By stretching your mind, you start to value your body more and more, she says. We can f change the story when we tell ourselves about our body at any point. Every moment is an opportunity to begin again. Rehashing the past. High five your mind. After running into an old friend weeks ago, you keep replaying the conversation, worried that a per personal question you ask sounded like a prying. Being on edge like this is a high sign that your mind needs a break, says Hannah. Giving your brain moments to recharge lets you build your energy reserve throughout the day. To feel better after a perceived slip-up, just repeat the mantra, progress, not perfection. Then prime your mind to stop ruminating in the future by giving yourself what Hannah calls the high-five experiences. Five specific moments each day to let your brain rest. It can be anything from doing a few stretches right off after your alarm clock goes off in the morning to putting down your phone after dinner and relaxing away from the screen. To reap the greatest return on your investment, aim for each mini break to last three to five minutes, says Hannah. But even 30 seconds can strengthen your brain, making it easier to think more positive, productive thoughts moving forward. You feel like you failed. Well, simply say the word switch. A volunteer committee you chaired is temporarily being disbanded because of the budget cuts. Though intellectually you know the circumstances are out of your control, emotionally you feel like it's somehow your fault and you can't stop thinking about what you might have done differently to ensure the uh, committee's success. In short, you feel like you let them down. It was your team. Shifting away from a distorted, unhelpful thought is easy as saying, quote-unquote, switch. According to Marie Bannock, a Ph.D., professor of the psychology and neuroscience at Colorado University in Boulder, whose groundbreaking research suggests that one of the best ways to purge your mind of negative script is deliberately start thinking for, about something completely different. For example, the next time you catch yourself thinking about the committee being disbanded, tell yourself, quote-unquote, switch and start gazing at a house plant. It's like shining a light on an item you're trying to erase so that your brain will know what to forget. Opening a slot for new information, says Bannock, flipping the switch, quote unquote, lets you regain control over your thoughts so that you can pursue your goals and confidence. Quick bits. This is Insights, the psychology news that matters to you. The powerful benefits of expressing hope. If you find yourself feeling envious of other success and apparent happiness, think of something that gives you hope, like the trip you'll take to see the loved ones once the travel is safe. Researchers at the University of East of Anglia in the UK found that people who had more hope were better able to cope in situations where they felt like they didn't stack up against their peers. The study authors explain was having that optimism for the future helps buffer against the, quote, relative deprivation, end quote, or the sense of others having more than us. The best strategy for offering support. When a loved one is fuming, validating their anger has a bigger impact than you might re expect. Researchers at the Ohio State University responded to people sharing events that made them angry, either by invalidating their feelings, why would that make you upset, or validating them, of course you'd be angry about that. Not only were folks who felt validated in a better mood than their counterparts, they bounced back to the level of happiness they had before recalling the incident. Investigators explained that the validation helps us feel understood so we can stay positive in the midst of negative emotions. Genius Ways to Eliminate Pesky Distractions To stop thinking about a nagging to-do so you can concentrate on a high-priority task, focus on it, then push it from your mind, say scientists in the Nature Communications. They showed subjects various photos and then told them to replace the thought of an image by thinking of another image to get rid of it by suppressing it or thinking of nothing. Brain scans showed that all methods worked, but suppression was best. Why? Working memory can only hold so much thoughts at a time, and this makes room for new thoughts. Simple Confidence Booster 
If stepping into a new role in your volunteer group makes you anxious, remind yourself that your skills will improve over time. In a Virginia Commonwealth University review, the decades of research, scientists found that successful leaders focus on le learning instead of performance. Plus, being an open to new ideas and concentrating on pursuing goals rather than avoiding failure. The researchers say that their mindset shifts improve the effectiveness and encourage behaviors that help us succeed. 80% of is how many people plan to make a self-care habit after the pandemic end. From the source, the Harris Poll. The Hidden Cause of Impulsivity Limiting the time you spend on social media or gaming apps can help you cut back on sweets, suggest researchers in Germany in their study in the journal of PLOS1. Scientists analyzed the data from people's smartphones, including how much time they spent using those types of apps. Subjects also completed questionnaires about self-control. The findings? Those who spent less time on those apps scored higher for self-control than those who logged into more screen time. The authors observed a connection between using the apps that encouraged immediate gratification and a preference for smaller, faster rewards like a tempting treat. Okay. Every once in a while, they do a nice uh, celebrity uh, page here of how to, you know, give us some hope and inspiration and how to stress, uh, uh, you know, st allevi alleviate stress. That's a good one. And I thought this instant inspiration, which in pri provides insight, Eva's best stress busters, which the Daytime Emmy Award winning actress and busy mom, Eva LaRue, who's 54, shares her go-to strategies for overcoming worrying, staying fit, and boosting joy for the summer. This is by Bonnie Siegler. Known for her upbeat spirit, Eva LaRue always has a smile at the ready. But the former All My Children and CSI Miami star admits to first that this time of year can be bittersweet. My father was a Korean War veteran and passed away right before Memorial Day in 2019, she confides. So this month I honor him and sacrifice so many of our heroes. And though Eva faced heartbreak in 2020, including the passing of her ex-husband, actor John Callahan, she looked forward to hopeful bright turning point this summer and to having a little fun. Quote, I believe bad things happen for us, not to us, she says. I try to be thankful for each new chance for joy. Here's Eva's tips for a healthy body, mind, and spirit. To boost health, do guilt-free snacks. I found some great new health snacks during the quarantine, like Ciriti's Nacho Chips, Eva says. They're crunchy like Doritos, but grain-free and dairy-free, so they don't cause inflammation. I also take anti-inflammatory cumin and turmeric plus vitamin C, zinc, and psyllium every day to strengthen my immune system. I find that as I get older, the more vitamins I take, I feel better. Her radiance secret is pure skin care. I recently discovered that royal jelly, a nutrient substance bees make for their queen, Eva enthuses, I put it on my face overnight to tighten the pores and dry out the pimples. One to try Imperial Elixir Pure Fresh Royal Jelly, which is $18 at Vitacost.com. To give us strength is gratitude. For most women, I think our strength comes from adversity, says Eva, who admits that she's had her share of heartache this past year. Strength comes from being grateful for all the small gifts in our lives. Last year was the biggest learning curve for everyone on the planet, but what I learned is to fiercely love the people who are important to you and just be grateful for everything. I literally say thank you for the smallest thing. I'll open my windows and feel blessed for the warmth. I'm grateful for those moments, and that's my, where my strength comes from these days. St here's the stress prescription, a prayer meditation hybrid. I medit meditate and pray every day, Eva shares. One leads unto the other. Prayer is usually like talking while meditation is listening for answers. It makes me feel rejuvenated. What's Eva's favorite way to meditate? I use a few guided meditation apps. There's a great one by Wayne Dyer focused on melodies that calm the brain. Want to tap into healing power of music without the app? Just crank your favorite oldies. Studies show that it can cut stress by 55% in less than five minutes. To melt a minipot, which is virtual dance class, staying in shape, Man, has this been difficult this past year, Eva laughs. With a lockdown, I had to go to YouTube to find workout videos to do from home. 
I found a new dance teacher on YouTube who did some really great choreographed dance classes. And I love those because that worked my brain out too because I had to remember the steps. It was such a good way to get a bit of cardio. It strengthens your core and it's so much fun. It feels like time just flies by. It's my favorite easy way to feel free to keep my brain moving and keeping my brain sharp as well. Eva's new passion projects. While restrictions are lifting, Eva is thrilled to get back to work, and she's already has a lot on her plate. Her latest TV series, Pure Flicks, Finding Love in Quarantine, which follows a single dad, Rick, as he tries to navigate love online during a pandemic, is now available as a feature film. I play Rick's love interest, Amber, as they navigate meeting and dating virtually. It's so timely, hopeful, and sweet. And as an advocate for healthy eating, Eva also takes on the role of brand ambassador for No Brain Better Foods, which helps make keto paleo friendly coffee creamers beverages and confections lately i love any reason to wake up and get out of my sweats and my new healthy swap is to plop a no no brainer food max mallow marshmallow in the morning coffee instead of sugar eva smiles they come in various yummy flavors my favorite is burnt caramel and they have no sugar or carbs what is best they have protein prio Priobotic fiber collagen, which is great for my skin, MCT oil for brain health. And they show a picture of the movie that Eva plays in Amber uh, Finding Love in the Quarantine. Okay, we're moving forward. I say that when I'm looking for the next paperclip. Okay, here we go. How many more paperclips? We're halfway through with this one. Smart Home Solutions. These are quick tips that save time and money. Make outdoor grilling a breeze. When you've fired up the grill to start cooking, it can be frustrating to realize that your spatula, fork, and tongs are back in the kitchen. To ensure you've always got your tools handy, do this. Slide all your grilling utensils into a large oven mitt and use the fabric loop to hang it on a hook, outside, in, hook on the side of the grill. Now that'll keep your accessories neatly corralled within reach so you can focus on grilling up a tasty meal without running back inside. Here's a quick poll. How do you damp proof a picnic spot? Wet grass can really dampen your picnic fun, so we ask readers for their tips to ensure comfy sitting. 52% love this idea. Place a large plastic trash bag under your blanket, says Tracy Dean. The bag will act as a buffer between the grass and the blanket. 48% love this idea. Sit on a vinyl tablecloth or shower curtain, says Claire Park. The waterproof material will keep you dry. Here's Money Saver Banish Weeds for Pennies. Now, if pesky weeds pop up in the cracks of your walkway, try this. Pour four ounces of lemon juice into a one-quart spray bottle. Fill the rest with white vinegar. Spray the mix directly on the weeds. Now, the citric acid in the lemon juice and the Acic acid in the vinegar will eat away at the stems and then it dries the, out the weed, weed roots. You save seven dollars for a bottle of weed killer. Now get your windows sparkling. The next time you got, give your windows a wipe down, avoid unsightly streaks with this DIY cleaning solution. To make, fill a bucket with a half a gallon of water, one teaspoon of liquid dish soap, one tablespoon of cornstarch. Dip a clean rag or mini squeegee in the liquid and wipe over the windows. The dish soap dislodges the dirt while the cornstarch absorbs the streak causing residue, leaving the glass spotless. Here's a reader tip. Enjoy portable speakers in the backyard. I love having music playing on my portable speakers during backyard barbecues, but the sound is never loud enough. Then one day I laid a small plastic trash can on its side in the yard and set the speaker inside. It worked great for amplifying the music, plus protects the speaker from any unexpected rain. Dora Curtis from Buffalo, New York. And then they show how a solar light and a plant pot is a perfect outdoor dining light. So they take a solar light and put it right down in the bottom of this, uh, looks like terracotta pl pl uh, potted plant thing, where of course there's no plant in it, and it holds that solar light in place. How awesome is that? Nix your car order odors, sands, chemicals. You haven't been driving as much lately and you notice your car is smelling a bit off. After setting in the garage, the chemical free mix, mix one part water, one part rubbing alcohol, and a few drops of any essential oil spray in the bottle. 
Now you're going to spritz this over your seats, your car mats. The rubbing alcohol will kill odors, bacteria in the car's interior, while the oil will leave a pleasant scent. Okay. Life made easy. Ten brilliant uses for car wax. Now this is car wax, mind you. We're going to find ten different ways to use it. And this is your home section. The first thing, you're going to prolong the life of your patio furniture. The secret to keeping your patio furniture looking like new car wax. Simply apply a light coat to clean the plastic on the metal chairs and tables before sitting them down. The slick substance will keep the dirt, pollen, and tree sap from sticking to the furniture, making it a cinch to clean. Plus, the wax will protect against sun damage and repel the water to outsmart the rust. Now, the second part, to repel dust from ceiling fans. A genius way to cut back on the number of times you have to climb up on a chair to clean a ceiling fan? Just apply a thin layer of car wax to the top and bottom of each blade. The wax will create a barrier that help keeps the dust from settling in the hard-to-reach spot. Problem solved. Three, nix your sticky grime on a range hood. Ugh, the layer of grease that sticks to the range hood after cooking is so tough to remove. A genius workaround to prevent this hassle. Wash the hood with soap and water as usual. Then use a clean cloth to coat the surface with a layer of car wax. The wax prevents grease from clinging to the hood's surface with even the messiest of stovetop meals. The fourth step. Make dog tags easy to read. Buster's last ID tags got rusty within a few months that you could hardly read the, his name and your phone number to protect his new ones from getting corrosive effects of moisture. Use a cloth to apply a thin coat of car wax to the metal and then let dry before reattaching to his color. Then simply reapply the wax every few months or so as needed. You're going to need to keep those tags looking new and easily readable for years to come. Now five, squirrel proof a bird feeder. Nothing brightens your day like seeing colorful birds at your feeder. If only those pesky squirrels didn't get to that bird seed first. To keep them away, grease the pole with car wax. Donna can't talk, sorry. The furry thieves won't be able to get purchase, uh, get a purchase on the slippery surface, leaving your seeds to the feathered friends. Six, quiet a noisy dresser drawer. Arg. Every time you open that sock drawer on your dresser, it gets stuck and makes an awful screeching sound. The solution? Rub a bit of car wax on those tracks. The slick stuff will lubricate the drawer so it can glide smooth and quietly. 7. Effortly change outdoor light bulbs. Your patio bulbs are prone to rust, making them impossible to remove. The fix, rub one teaspoon of car wax over the bulbs, metal threads before screwing them into place. The wax stops the water from seeping in and causing rust. The bulbs will twist out with ease. Number eight, prevent smudges on stainless steel. Now you love that gleaming stainless steel appliance, but not so much the smudges and the fingerprints they seem to attract. To outsmart the problem, first clean away the marks, then use a microfiber cloth to buff a thin layer of car wax onto the surface, moving in the same direction as the appliance grain. This will leave behind an invisible shield that keeps fingerprints from building up, plus adds a nice shine to your fridge or toaster. 9. Cut down on toilet scrubbing. Now here's a trick that will enable you to go twice as long between toilet bowl cleanings. To do, first turn off the water supply at the back of the toilet. Then flush until the bowl is empty. When the bowl is dry, apply a thin layer of car wax inside. Let it sit for 10 minutes before turning the water back on. The wax will ensure stains slide right off rather than settling on the porcelain. Your toilet will stay sparkling clean for up to three weeks. 10. Keep your yard tools ready to garden. The secret to keeping shears and other garden tools in tip-top shape so they're ready to snip whenever you're inspired? Car wax. Use a soft cloth to buff wax onto the hinges blades. The wax will lubricate the metal, creating a slick surface that repels sap, dirt, and other sticky yard debris. Okay. Good gravy. Such, it's filled with such good information. So the next page is Life Smarts. This is your home section. 
Easy fixes for home glitches. Your home has likely had some extra wear and tear this past year. Here are some simple tips and tricks to keep things humming. Toilet treble, grab a cloth. As we spend more time at home, our pipes are getting a workout. According to the plumbers, repair calls have spiked significantly over the past year. The most common complaint, the toilets won't stop running. Thankfully, there's an easy fix to try. Remove the lid from the tank. Flush the toilet and lift the flapper. That's the rubber cap at the bottom of the tank with a chain attached to it. The flapper keeps the water in the tank, explains Stephanie Smith of My Plumber. After a lot of flushing, the rubber on it can get dirty, preventing it from sealing, causing the toilet to keep refilling. Going forward, simply rub the flapper with a microfiber cloth once a month. This prevents, prevents mineral deposits from corroding the seal and stops water loss. Yep, water time. Dishwater dyeing. Well, tap white vinegar. All our home uh, cooked meals, mean wa dishwashers, are getting used like never before and breaking down more often. That's because the more dishes we wash, the more grease and food particles build up, causing clogs, explained Smith. Extend the life of your appliance with a monthly cleaning, she says. Place a cup of white vinegar on the top of the rack of an empty dishwasher. Run the hot water cycle. The vinegar breaks down the buildup, ensuring the machine runs like new. Now, when the cleaning cycle is done, just sprinkle a bit of baking soda along the bottom of the dishwasher to absorb any lingering vinegar odor. Is your fridge winding down? Well, stock it smart. A lot of us stocked up on food during the past year, packing our fridge to the gills. Unfortunately, this resulted in a wave of fridge failures, so much so that there's still a backlog on ordering new units, reveals appliance repair expert Scott Eckeson of TCI Building Services. If your fridge is packed too tightly, the air can't circulate, straining the motor. The simple fix? Aim to stock your fridge or freezer about three-fourths full and leave the most free space at the top where the air is the warmest and needs to circulate the most. An easy way to do this, stash bigger items like gallon size melt containers or large Tupperware on the bottom shelf and leave the top section for smaller items like yogurt, eggs, and jam jars. Keep your car humming. You're going to boost your battery life. When your car sits idle too long, the battery weakens, the metal parts can corrode. Aim to take your car out for 30 to 60 minutes at least once a week, says the auto expert Richard Rena. If you can reach 65 miles per hour, it will do wonders for your engine and your battery. Outsmart your oil problems. Now, pre-pandemic, most of us drove often enough to base our own oil change intervals on mileage. But if you're putting significantly fewer mi miles based intervals around the calendar instead, says Rena, who suggests getting an oil change at least once a year. Sidestep flat tires. Now, when your car sits for a long time, the tires can develop a flat spot. Check your tire pressure periodically, even if you're not on the road as often, says Rena. Adding 2 to 3 PSI above what's recommended can help prevent flat spotting and keeps those tires in shape. Okay, going forward. Okay. <sighs> A before bed read. This is the love section. A hero's sweet homecoming. With her soldier son fighting abroad, Deanna Bemis Good lived each day in fear until she received unexpected news one fateful day. I frantically tore open the letter envelope. I hadn't received a letter in more than a month. Please, Lord, keep my, let my son be okay. I yanked out the letter and scanned the contents. David, David, I shrieked. He ran into the kitchen. What is it? What's wrong? Why are you crying? He's coming home. Two weeks later, I sat in the cushioned seat at the airport security area. I hadn't realized until how much tension I kept inside me. Three months earlier, I watched the news in our family room and got another update on Operation Iraqi Freedom. The news feed across the bottom turned horrifying. UE, UE helicopter down, no survivors. UE helicopter down, no survivors. I sat frozen, afraid to move. That was the helicopter Joshua was, was assigned. There was no more information than that. There was nothing I could do, so I called my husband at work. I didn't know if he could talk while working patrol, but I tried anyway. 
When he answered, I blurted out, David, the news says a Yui went down. What should I do? What if it's Joshua's? You know, there, there are only eight or nine out there. I don't think I can handle this. It's okay. Try to stay calm. I'm so sorry that I can't be there. All we can do is pray. Pray he's okay. I'm being called to an accident. I have to go. I love you. And I'll hang in there and I'll try to call you later. Bye. Pray? That's all I could do? Please let Joshua be safe. I stopped. If Joshua was okay, what about the families of those lost? I added, and lift up those families of the fallen crew. Only ten minutes had passed since the news flashed across the screen. An hour later, I talked with an officer. He informed me I had twenty-four hours to wait. I would hear by phone if he was injured and knock at the door if it was my ultimate nightmare. Somehow I made it through the night and then went to work the next day. I felt like a machine on autopilot. Students filed in, then out. One class down, four to go. I greeted my students and taught my lessons. Finally, the school bell rang. It was 2.30 p.m. Twenty-four hours had passed with no news. He was okay. I laid my head on the desk and cried in sadness for the families who had lost their warriors and in gratitude for the knock that never came on my door. Now I sat at the airport about to see my boy. I watched as my family talked quietly while they held balloons, flowers, and a large banner with Welcome Home Joshua painted across it in red, white, and blue paint. I smiled. My legs started to ache from sitting. I stood slowly and walked to the arrival departure board. He's landed. You guys, he finally here. We all ran to the exit where the security area. My heart pounded. I wanted to yell everyone that my son was home. I strained to see the boy and I loved that miss so long. A sign warn warned everyone to stay behind the wide yellow line. But then a thin, tall, young man with auburn hair and a big smile came into view. I sprinted down the walkway anyway and jumped into his arms. Then I stood back and looked into his face just to make sure he was real. It was definitely Joshua, but he looked different. I saw a weariness in his face, and I could feel his bones in my embrace. His smile held a bit of sadness along with joy. He slowly picked up his bag as everyone in the waiting area stood and chanted, USA. Arm in arm, we walked back to the others. I found my way to my husband, grabbed his arm, and whispered, Our boy's home. Diana Bemis Good. This story comes from the Chicken Soup for the Soul series by Military Families. 101 stories about the force behind the forces. Inspiration is guaranteed. For more heartwarming stories of this heroic act of the men and women who serve our country, pick up this copy of Chicken Soup for the Soul Military Families, available at Amazon.com and wherever books are sold. And that's a good story. Okay, moving forward. Guess what time it is? It is time for, yes, if you said horoscopes, you got that right. This is horoscopes for April 22nd through May 17th. Now, if you're a big bad bull of a Taurus, April 20th through May 20th, you're going to have a clear runway to set powerful intentions come May 11th. Tune into your heart. From May 10th on, you're going to enjoy more opportunities to connect with friends. Your social network will support your progress on long-term goals. Now, if you're a twin Gemini there, that's May 21st through June 20th, you're going to prioritize time with loved ones from May 8th on, carving out time to connect over FaceTime or heartfelt texts bring you even closer than May 13th on. You're going to have a chance to take on a new exciting project. The spotlight will be yours. Now, if you're a Cancer, which is a little crab, from June 21st through July 22nd, initiate a group project around April 23rd. Sharing your vision with co-workers can make it easy to cross the finish line. Around May 2nd, you may be motivated to broaden your horizons by taking on online class. The sky is the limit. If you're a lioness, like your sexy Leo here, July 23rd through August 22nd. Actually, just August 3rd is the only day you need to worry about. Around April 26th, you could be craving more work-life balance, prioritizing routines that offer a sense of security that can bolster your sense of well-being now. And from May 7th on, it's going to be easier to connect with loved ones on a deeper level. Share what's in your heart. I do on a daily basis right here on YouTube. Anyway, Virgo. Uh, April, or April, blah, 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 August 23rd through September 22nd. Shake up your routine around May 10th. Now, learning a new skill or connecting with people outside your circle can be enlivening tone. 
around May 15th. Join with a friend to bolster your bond. Get ahead your do to do your to do list, and you're going to soar. If you're a Libra, which looks like uh, weights and balances, September 23rd through October 22nd, you're going to gravitate to eye-opening experiences from May 8th on. Experiment in the kitchen or on social media fun, then zero in on mind-body routine come May 13th. Checking out everyday practices like meditation or aromatherapy can bring you joy. Scorpio. That looks like a little lobster dude. That's October 23rd through November 21st. Around April 26th, your emotions could feel, be intensified. Put your self-care first, wanting to feel centered. If you're being wanted to pair up with a friend or tackle a daunting chore, you can get clear on your game plan around May 11th. The step-by-step -step approach sets you up for success. And Sagittarius, that's November 22nd through December 21st. Looks like it's a bow and arrow for you. Uh, you can make progress on wellness goals around May 5th. Comment to a plan that you're going to be on your way. Then spend time with your loved ones around the house from May 10th on. Embracing everyday interaction will bring, at home will bring you bliss. Capricorn. Now that looks like a little ram. Uh, maybe a goat dude. I don't know. One of those families. Uh, December 22nd through January 19th. From April 27th on, you may be thinking about how you can rejuvenate your personal goals. Creating space to rest and reflect leads to taking action down the road. Now, come May 15th, channeling your emotions into your favorite artistic outlet will be out, uh, fulfilling. Now, if you're an Aquarius, which looks like it's just a bull with some water in it, uh, that's January 20th through February 18th. If you've been wanting to put your nose to the grindstone on a project, go for it around May 12th. You're going to gain momentum. Now, from May 16th on, you're going to identify with new sources of cash flow. Whatever resonates with your heart, go that way is the way to go. Now, Pisces, it looks like two fish trying to chase each other. February 19th through March 20th. Your creativity will get a big boost on May 11th. This can be a brilliant time to have an imagination brainstorm with your coworkers. Then from May 14th on, you're going to make a real progress on your most ambitious goals. Allow yourself to dream. The success is going to be yours. If you're an Aries, it looks like another goat. Why are they so obsessed with, like, goat and rams? But anyway, March 21st through April 19th, you're going to gain clarity around the best way to bolster cash flow on May 3rd. Trust your gut to lead the way. From May 7th on, dive it into spiritual pursuits. Think of meditative walks. It can booster your self-awareness and help you keep even more grounded. That was by Marissa Brown, the horoscopes there. Going forward. Let's see what we got here. Oh, too cute news fun. This is the f funny, the joyful, the precious, the cute, and the sweet. They're all five stories that will make you smile. Y'all know how much I love my wildlife. Anyway, right here we have two precious little bear cubs. And the one is looking right back at the camera while the other one is paying no attention to that camera. It says, it's funny. We see you, cutie. Kamashka, Russia. Play nice, little ones. These bear club siblings had gotten into a minor scuffle, much to the dismay of their mother. When they took notice of the photographer, it didn't take long for the cubs to break it off and then sit quietly, trying to feign innocence. But the mischievous look on that silly cub's face says otherwise. Here's a precious one, and y'all know how much I love my tigers. Anyway. Uh, welcome to the world, Cleveland. Two tiger cubs mean double the adorable at Cleveland Zoo. Amr Tigers, Zoya and Hector, our proud parents, were blessed with precious boy and girl, and the duo was already capturing hearts. The cubs have been receiving around-the-clock care by the staffers who are making sure they're comfortable and well-fed. Once they're a few months old, they'll get to explore the outside world for the first time. Oh, we have a joyful moment here in Amityville, France. It's a mom and me time. Meet the newest bundle of joy. Welcome to the Amneville Zoo family. The sweet Rothschild giraffe is the first in 30 years to be born at the zoo. The staffers are elated. Her protective mom has been keeping a close eye on her, but has allowed keepers to get to know the youngster better. Though she was shy at first, her curious personality has started to come out. Cute. Well, hello there. We've got a little squirrel just staring right at the camera. 
Isle of Wight, England. This friendly red squirrel was spotted one afternoon while out for a sunny stroll among the wildflowers, a bit out of character since the furry critter, cr critters pr much prefer travel via trees, forming their own sort of squirrel highways up in the canopy. Plus, this keeps them close to the absolute favorite snacks. Hazelnuts. Sweet. Nothing beats cuddle time in Lanai, China. Looks like love is in the air with these Lanai zoological and botanical gardens. This pair of blue and gold macaws were spotted cozying up together one sunny afternoon, an adorable display of affection. Not only is the parrot species known to mate for life, they aren't afraid to show some PDA either. I like these birds. Macaws love to connect with their mates by rubbing their beak on each other's feathers, gently nibbling on them, and even touching them with their tongue, which is their special way of kissing. Okay, the last page, which is the last laugh. How fitting. And it's fun. So it says, there's a golden retriever looking at a pool where this little pink flamingo-like thing is at, facing him. It says, so you just spend all day lounging around in the pool? The golden retriever has this look on his face looking at the pink flamingo. And it's a blow-up pink flamingo. Okay, it says, smile file. Yes, it's finally May. Get ready for the snowstorms that inevitably appears the day after you pack away your winter coats. Beth Mintler. Uh, there's a little girl. She's just so precious. She's got this little hat on, a sundress, and she's got a phone, cell phone stuck to her ear. It says, I told you I'm not taking calls while I'm on vacation. And uh, that is all I'm sharing from that. So that was fun. I hope that you pick up the first magazine. It's May 17, 2021 edition. So much more that I didn't share with you that you want to read for yourself. I just know it. And I get to say my famous good well, here we are wishing you well. I hope that you are keeping your three feet of social distance, washing your hands. When you're not washing your hands, you're using your hand sanitizer. And you are still wearing your mask. Until they say it's all over, I mean, done. You don't know who's had the shot and who hasn't. Wear your mask. Be safe, not stupid. Furthermore, I hope and pray that all of you have good health, good wealth, much joy, faith, hope, and love in your heart, prosperity in the bank and in your heart as well. Make sure that you do a good deed for someone else. And the only form of payment is two words, thank you. When they say, how can I really repay you? Ask them to do a good deed for someone else and take only a thank you in return for a form of payment. God bless each and every one of you. Stay safe. Stay well. I hope to see you tomorrow. We'll have Saturday evening post to review tomorrow, so you don't want to miss out on that. And good night. God bless.